Dreams without goals are just dreams. At Sunstone, we cherish our visions and chase our goals. Ultimately, this became the blueprint for our achievements. I think the joy of building is something which motivates everyone to take the startup route. Uh, whether it is the zero to one journey where you are establishing proof points of your product or whether it is scaling your business from a one to n journey. At every stage, you are learning the new nuances of the game. And when you build this, you create outcomes. You create outcomes for your employees, for your customers. And I think that that feedback intrinsically gives you a lot of joy. Startup is something when you are very passionate about solving some problem. And when you think that there is a problem which can be solved for yourself, for your family, for the city, for the nation, for the world, you should definitely take a startup route. Startup, doing startup or even working in a startup, you know, teaches you a lot of things about life. So it can be very individualistic uh, choice for any person. For me, uh, the choice was very, very simple. Uh, it gives me freedom to execute, to build things on my own. Then more importantly, something which I've learned over a period of time is one's ability to create something out of thin air. Like now I can say, before we started uh, what we are doing in education, this model didn't exist. We have created impact for right now 10,000 students. अगर सनस्टोन नहीं सोचा जाता तो इन 10,000 बच्चों के जीवन में जो आज हम कर रहे हैं शायद that would not have been here. So that power of creating something from zero, something from thin air, that is what gives truly an inspiration for me to start something as a startup. I think uh, specifically for Sunstall, every average Indian parent is my inspiration. The way they invest in education of children is something which, is, which speaks of a dream which they have for their children, which speaks of how much they value education, how much it is it's a budgeted expense which parents, you know, keep accumulating over their lifetime or take huge loans on. So it's such an important expense and there has to be some accountability for it. I myself am a product of education which my parents worked hard for. And so does every other average Indian parent. So my inspiration is the Indian parent. Yeah, I find inspiration in many people. It's not, I don't have one role model. You know, I get inspired by a Kilevala Thelong also, and I get inspired by Jeff Bezos also. I get inspired by my colleagues also. So I find inspiration in, you know, in a lot of my meetings also, in my personal conversations with my colleagues also. You know, what keeps me going is, in what philosophy I love, you know, simple hai. You know, you get a chance to live in life mein moga milta hai. and you feel like yeah, now is the time. When I was in 20s, I thought, abhi hai, bas fi life khatam ho jayegi. Jab 30s mein gaye, abhi hai, ab 40s mein gaye, abhi hai. But I, which teaches me one thing that time is always there. So that's what keeps me going. Yeah, like today is the time. So I would not say that it wasn't one individual who inspired me. But when I started my career, I see a lot of people at that point in time starting on their own. And at that point in time, Indian start startup ecosystem was not like going really, really well. So a lot of people were I would say they were brave in their way because us time pe utna support nahi tha startup founders ko jo aaj ki date mein hain early 2000 2008 9 so that was the generation of founders who have inspired lot of us ki yaar agar ye log kar sakte hain bina itni sari support ke to hum to definitely kar sakte hain
Well, my topmost advice to young entrepreneurs would be always stay very, very close to the consumers. Always keep your ears on the ground. What is your customer saying about your product, your offering? Is it well received? Do mystery calls, do a lot of interviews. Whichever way you can gather feedback, it is very important to know what your customer is thinking about your product and not through indirect means, but directly. If you are entering into an education business, thinking that you will make a billion dollar valuation, will earn a lot of money. Yes, it can happen. There's a large market. There's a large market, but you cannot, cannot set aside one core principle, which is solving the student's problem. If you have removed it, then you will probably earn money for one year or two years, but you will not earn it for long term. You have year on year, you know, you have the outcome, the learning outcome that you have promised, you have to deliver it. For this, you have to learn learning, you have to use technology, you have to use product, you have to use product in three of them very well. Getting the students is not a problem. Getting the customers is not a problem. Retaining the students is not a problem. The problem is making sure that what you have promised, you deliver on that. So I'll, I'll give two pieces of advice. Uh, one is to the founders who are starting in the field of education and one generally if you want to start up as a, uh, if you're starting up. To those people who are starting in the field of education, uh, there's only one thing that I would like to say. Just keep student at the forefront of whatever you are doing. In short term, you may not feel that I have a lot of benefit from this, but the company who will sustain in the long term and who will win in the long term will be only those companies who will always put student first and build it for student success. If you align yourself in student as an education founder in long term, you are definitely going to win. The second advice which I generally give to all uh, founders uh, is that there is no right time to start up. If you think that you want to start a company, right now is the right time. It doesn't matter what stage of your career you are in. You may be a 19 year old boy who have just completed your undergrad or you are in your undergrad. You may be a 50 year old person with a 30 years of work experience. If you think that you feel truly passionate about something, that you want to build something from scratch and you can contribute uh, to the society, just go ahead and start up. You will face challenges, but trust me, you will figure it out and it will be a wonderful journey uh, that you will go through.